Hello everyone, um, today I'm going to be showing you how to give your bearded dragon a bath. Now, it's pretty simple. Um, you're going to want to um, bathe them every other day because this is how they get water. They usually do not, well mine usually does not drink water. They will um, get it from their skin. So you're going to want to bathe them every other day. Uh, you can use a bathtub, but when you have juveniles and babies, you're probably going to want to use a sink just because it's smaller. I used to use a sink with Oliver, but he has grown out of the sink and I now bathe him in my bathtub. And, um, just a side note, I do, my house uses spring water, uh, you're just gonna want to be careful if you don't use, uh, spring water, cause usually a lot of city water and other water does contain, um, chemicals to filter it, so you're just gonna want to be careful with that. And basically what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to fill up your bathtub. Not too much, just so the back legs are covered in water. Uh, and maybe they'll run around. And bearded dragons can swim, so you can fill it up more, but um, they're not very good swimmers, to my knowledge. So I would just keep it at this height. Um, usually I brush to them, but I'm not gonna do this this I'm not gonna do it this time I just want to let them soak you're gonna want to let them soak for about five minutes maybe less just to get that water be careful that they don't drink too much water, that they might vomit. Um, and they might uh, defecate in the water. Warm water does can cause them to defecate. Mine doesn't usually react, but it can happen. So just be careful of that. So I'm just going to let them soak. And thank you for joining me on how to bathe your bearded dragon.